everybody, welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk. Max here. I just got back from work. It, honestly, it was a rough day. I'd love to talk about some to toy dolls and toys. And I'm trying to keep my energy up, be positive. And let's get started right away. Here's some good news. Well, at least for the Bowser. I like the Bowser. Mm -hmm. I would have liked a genuine Mario. I like the Bear Mario, though, too. Yeah. But it's weird that they didn't include a, another option, too. Like a regular Mario and a Bear Mario. What do you he, mean a regular Mario? Like, more like a person? Yeah. A like person the original Mario? Mario and a Bear Mario. Yeah. Oh. I think it would have been kind of weird to have... I guess they did do Lala Loopsies, which... Those are more like dolls, though, so I don't know. And I would have liked, I've been, I've actually, this was one of my um, ones we did a while back, a while ago, at Toy, Toy Talk, Build-A-Bear Most Wanted, mm -hmm. and I think I said uh, Mario, mm -hmm. and I want like the old, like, power-ups as costumes, like the Tanuki Raccoon mm -hmm. suit, I think would be awesome. So, I hope this isn't the end of it. Like they did with Sonic, and then it's just one and done. Mm -hmm. I hope they do some awesome power up costumes, which you could put on all your Build a Bears. That'd be really cute. I want a Tanuki suit. Mm. Raccoon. If you're with me, comment below that you want a Tanuki Build a Bear costume. Yes. There's so many great costumes they could do. Yeah. I like the Yoshi, though. And where's the. They should have the. Cappy, the cap from the new Mario Odyssey, mm -hmm. as a as a build a bear costume, just the hat with yeah. the eyes. Yeah. Where is that at? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. There's Peach. Yeah. There's a Mario hoodie. I like the Mario hoodie. Yeah, that's cute. It's it's great, but there's so much more they could do. I hope they continue. Mhm. Mm and here's some doll. Brand new news. Hawk Girl is going to be a DC superhero girl doll. That's not brand new news. No, I know. This is just a picture of her in box. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like the pants. Yeah? I, a cool, like, nice quality there. Mm hmm. Um, again, with the molded on top, you know, I've commented below in the wings. They should have had a little bit of paint variation. Um,. The mask could have had a little bit more detail. Uh, this should have been a de uh, Comic Con exclusive. Maybe well, next her year. Well, the mask in the show wasn't super detailed. It's like just a very simple gold Maybe mask. Maybe they will have a Comic Con exclusive of her for next year. I don't know. Because Maybe. I have an, another whole hot topic planned about just this doll in particular, but I, I'm not spoiling it here. Okay. I'm working on something. Okay. If I get to it. I am so happy about this doll. Mm -hmm. It's finally another quality Disney Descendants signature doll. I mean, there's still room for improvement, but compared to what we got, this is awesome. I, I don't see... I think... This, you don't see it? No, I don't... I don't... You just said I see room for improvement. I think they did 100% a good job. I don't think they needed to improve anything. Well, I think, like, the uh, the fabric, the quality of the fabric could be a little bit higher, like, compared to the original Disney Descendant signatures. Like, if you go back to Alley, the quality of the fabric is a little bit better. This seems like that that same quality no. cloth. But other than that, I'm super impressed. Mm -hmm. There's paint variation, I think, even on the glasses, the headband, different hair color. There's paint on the shoes. Yeah. And I can't see, we could should have done a close-up. There's a, like a brooch on her neck that has a little bit of detail. Yeah. Amazing. This just proves they could do it. Are they going to continue? Or is this going to be one and done? Probably one and done. They're probably like, okay, here's a signature doll. You've waited uh, almost a year past the original, the movie release. And then that's it. Unfortunately. But they might be doing her too because I think she's going to have a bigger part in, no spoilers for the Disney Descendants 2 movie, but she's, for the Disney Descendants 3, she may have a bigger part based on the movie 
If you haven't seen, you probably everyone's probably seen the movie that's listening to this show, right? <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Maybe I could just do a spoiler warning. At the end, they invite her to uh, Ordon Prep. Yeah. So, or it was maybe it was a, like a, a hidden scene. I can't remember if it was like after credits or something. Mm-hmm. So, maybe that's why they're doing the doll preparing for Disney Descendants 3. I think they're doing her because of Disney Descendants 2, because that's her exact outfit. While you're late to the party, I mean, come on. I mean, that it's, I'm, uh, I shouldn't complain. I'm sorry. Better, I'm happy she's coming better out. Better late than never. Right. I, based on what we've been getting in fashion dolls, it's a huge win. To get and a quality doll. That doll is already out. I've seen some people posting pictures of her on Instagram, so. Oh, really? Where can I get her? I don't know. Viewers, comment below. I want this doll. Okay. But where is Harry Hook? I don't know. Because they don't make male dolls. Hasbro or Mattel. They're like so... If Forget about signatures is one issue. Male dolls is even a bigger issue. Mm -hmm. They just don't do it. They don't have any fan service. We need our characters. Okay, here's the... F I'm sorry. I'm a little wound up because I'm trying to keep the energy high. But I'm, you know, just got home from work. I appreciate Ducky preparing this episode. This is from The Last Jedi, the Vinylmation figures. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tried to get into Vinylmation. I, I really... Uh, give props to you Vinylmation collectors out there. It just doesn't do it for me. Uh, I mean, I guess they're good quality. They're very expensive. I like the Kylo one. Eh, I like the Stormtrooper one the best. Probably. The Kylo one's okay. So, I, if you're interested, though, they're out now. They're limited release. Oh, really? It says it on the box. And we just saw the movie. No spoilers here. I don't if, even talk about no, your thoughts I'll about just, the movie. All I wanted to say... Come no, on, no. I just wanted to say... If, no. Not, no. Not, oh, let me no. finish. Let me finish. No. Stucky is so big about... All I want to say is yes or no. Did you like it? Yes, I liked it. Okay. I... No, because you... Or no. I'm not going on a rant here. Ugh. I'm a huge. When does you not? I'm a huge Star Wars not? fan. I have mixed feelings. I'm not saying I dislike it or not like it, but I have got mixed feelings about it. It's a good watch, though. Everyone should see it, though. Still. All right. Okay. So sorry. There's a miss. But... Can I talk? Can yes. you take a breath? Yes. There's a mystery chase figure, and I think that chase figure. Well, then is... don't get spoilers. I'm not giving a spoiler. If I'm you, saying what I think the mystery chase but it, figure maybe is. Maybe it's a character they don't know is in it or something. No. Okay. Can you? Sorry. Okay, sorry. Not interrupt me and just calm yourself. All right. Yes. Uh, I think it's Snoke would be the um, the mystery chase figure. Oh, that's a good guess. Because there's six rebel characters and there's only five shown uh, First Order characters. So I think the chase might be... Ch I think you're no. right. That was a good pick up there. Sorry to... Yeah. Overreact? Yes. I never do that. And here the... The creature... One of the cre new creatures from the movie. I like it. I don't like this plushie. I don't think it does a very good job. Um, it, they don't look fluffy enough. Mm. And the feet are kind of... Yeah. Blobs. Blobs? Blobs. There's, here's like a nice cool statue mm -hmm. of Chewbacca, R2, and some Porgs. That's really cute. What did you think of the Porgs? I like the Porgs. Me too. And it lights up blue and red. Here, um, the Elite Praetorian Guard with Heavy Blade. This looks a really cool figure at the Black Series. Oh, I know why I included this. Okay. I, I mean, Ducky put this together, but I sent her some pictures. Uh, this is an Amazon-exclusive Black Series, so... I kind of really want it. Oh, really? 
I really like the Praetorian Guard. Just like the look of them is really cool and they, I don't know why, to me, even before I saw the movie, um, just the look of them from posters and promotional material, they were the most intimidating looking guards. They intimidated me more than I think Darth Vader did. For Jedi or Sith, they're like scarier to you because you just like. I don't know. I don't I just know. like how they're, they're all mysterious red. too. They're like. No, I'm trying to explain why. Yeah. Um, they're all red and I don't know, but they're really cool. I like them, but they're also scary. Yeah. All right. Let's. I want this. Let's get going. I don't know how much we have in here. And Tales of Hope and Courage, Forces of Destiny, as told by Maz Kanata. Are we getting a Maz Kanata uh, Forces of Destiny doll? Maybe, but that might this be looks interesting. like a book. I really don't think so, but... I think this is a book. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we have some My Little Pony pictures of the new Equestria Girl dolls. Now, I'm kind of going to flip-flop a little bit here. Flip-flop? Yeah, I'm going to flip-flop. All right, go ahead. Uh, I think for what you're getting, it's good. Because, now this is in the United States. These are $9.99 on ToysRUs.com. You know how I am about articulation. Mm -hmm. But for that price point, I'd say, yeah, it's I can, I can accept the non-articulation for $9.99 and you're not getting any accessories mm -hmm. so if you go like $12.99 $13.00 14 15 no but for $9.99 suggested retail price because you got to consider too around the world uh, a lot of the US is a big market so when they do the suggested retail there unfortunately in other countries and other regions it goes up accordingly the based on demand and availability so 9.99 here and different conversions of of um, money it goes up a little bit it's a little more expensive so you need a good retail price point us2 i'm not saying it's the standard here but this also has impact around the world so 9.99 is a decent price and i don't think in other regions it should go up too much off that I think it's a good price point for what you're getting. And I like the new, I mean, I think it could be better, but I like the designs of the faces. And I like that they have ears. I don't like, I like that they only have one set of ears. Okay. Because that was a big gripe for me with the original Equestria Girls. I like everything except the faces and the head shape. I think the faces and the head don't really look they don't really look like the Equestria Girls that much, but their outfits and their hair and their shoes are really cute. Yeah, the I think they did a decent job with a budget for an outfit too, on um, some most of them. Uh, all their outfits look really good Do you? for any doll. To oh, okay, me. that's cool. And the shoes, and the hair. I just I don't think their faces look anything like the Equestria Girl. Well, these are the reboot ones. Yeah, I, I understand that, but you so, still want them to look like yeah, the cartoon. But do we? Does any viewer out there know if they're also doing a redesign, like if there's going to be a new show or movie, if the designs change for that too? I, I'd like to know. I would have a hard time thinking they would change the animation design of Equestria Girls now. Oh, okay. But... Maybe that I'm wrong. <laughs> if you viewers know some info, please comment below on Equestria Girls. Is there going to be a new show, a new movie? Is the art style the same? Has it changed? We want to know. What do you think of Twilight? What's your favorite? Um. Pick one. It, Pinkie Pie out of the main... Uh, the main characters is my favorite, but this doll is not my favorite. The face, the way they did the nose, she reminds me of a pig. The face is 
I look at her face and I her, think her, of a pig. Her nose isn't cute to you? It's no, little, it little looks piggy nose. a little piggish. Uh oh. With the color, and then they have it upturned, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess Fluttershy? Maybe Applejack? I like the Applejack. I like the. You like Freckles? Yeah. What about Fluttershy? I just. I really don't like the design of the faces. Uh oh. <laughs> I like everything else but the faces. Um, Nickelodeon vinyl mini boxes. Mm hmm. You don't know why I said uh oh. <laughs> why? Because I ordered some for review. Oh, this is fine. This, did you hear that sigh? Because I didn't know. I know we talked about them. I didn't know you disliked them that much. I've I never, guess I could. I've never said I liked them. I guess I could return them. Mm. Viewers, comment below. <laughs> Do you want Ducky to review the dolls that are coming soon? Or should I return them? I could return them. Mm. All right. Here's this is the, the on ongoing doll drama in the Ducky house. Nickelodeon. Vinyl collectible miniseries. Yeah. Cute. Here's the Disney figure of key rings. Series 12. They keep on coming. Funko is sleeping on the job because they had Disney mystery minis and they never got the Series 12. They, they should have... Funko they, has enough. They don't need to worry about but I figure of key rings. more mystery minis of Disney characters. Well, they have plenty of Disney Funko stuff. Cute but deadly. For Overwatch. I really don't. I did. I sent some of this to you last night. I don't even remember what I sent you. Mm -hmm. So this is like a surprise to me. Well, the this is the last. Oh, that thing. was it. Yeah, and we're gonna wrap it up with the viewer comment from Mus Parvulus. The oh, I'm reading. Yes. Okay, sorry, I was sleeping. Uh, the odd part is these are new shoes. I have no idea what we're talking about so far. Oh, uh. they scream bunny, but no bunny ever wore them. I think they plan to make bunny and change their mind at last minute. Maddie, on the other hand, kind of looks like she has Briar's theme, although roses are more universal print, so I don't know. I don't understand why they use a different face for Mish. Michelle. She had... A nice, unique sculpt for her first doll, question mark. Do you think, do you viewers know? Well, I don't know. I didn't I didn't watch your review yet of Michelle. Um, does she have the, you, in your opinion, in viewers' opinion, does she have the same face mold or is it this different? This was the comment, on, I think this comment was on the Michelle. Okay. Um, because the, the shoes that she was wearing had little bunny tails on the back of them which I thought they were remade like a remold from a bunny blanc uh, doll but she said that um, or must this com commenter said that um, no bunny ever wore these shoes mm-hmm and then that they used a different face sculpt for Michelle. Okay. Which are two things that I didn't notice. Whoops. Didn't know. You dropped the ball. No. It's I... hard to notice them. So, so. No, it's hard to remember exactly all the shoes one character wore. But um, you viewers are awesome with that, so thanks. Yes. So I included this because it had good points that I didn't notice. And... um. Awesome I think comment, for, most Yeah, marvelous. roses are a universal print, but for Ever After High, Briar is known for the roses. Mm. So when you put Maddie in, like, all rose things, it's weird. Anyway, thank you for the comment again. Thanks, everybody, for watching this toy talk. I think that wraps it up. Yes, thanks for watching. All right. Bye. Bye.